Let's, uh, let's pray again. Let's pray. Great and loving God, we know we are tenants of this good earth, entrusted through your grace and love with its abundance and harvests. Strengthen our resolve to be worthy of your covenant with us. Make us more willing to hear, to obey, and to act in protection of the fruit of your kingdom of love. Fill the leaders of our nation and all nations with a healthy respect for the dignity of human life, the worth of the individual, and the need to consider the everyday issues as well as the wider issues in politics and society. Sustain those with special talents of laughter, healing, teaching, leadership, parenting, production of food and necessities of life, and encourage them to see you as the source of all their gifts. Accept, we pray, your children with their particular hopes and promise. Inspire them to continue in their faithful way to work for the growth of love and cooperation, mutual dependence and trust. Startle the wavering and the tempted, the unsure and the procrastinating with a sharp sense of your interest and your demands of care upon them. Refresh the weary and the war-torn, the oppressed and the suffering with the sense of your unlimited and unexpected mercies. Motivate the hearts of compassionate men and women to the cries of the hungry and the plight of the undernourished. Shake the complacent out of their stupor of self-satisfaction and grab their attention and stimulate them to action on behalf of those with no clout or no political weight and no means of being hired for themselves. Give patience to those who labor to alter the ideas of society and challenge the patterns of the growing gap between rich and poor. Direct and embolden those who grapple with the problems of insufficient shelter and inadequate clothing, the lack of ample resources in education, and abuse of power, oppression, and injustice. Reignite the passion of those who have slumped into idle lethargy and lukewarm apathy. Give them a boldness to correct, eradicate, and transform the wrongs which reject and isolate those who do not fit neatly within the norms of society. Remind the church to tread carefully in its eagerness to be popular or in hastily espousing doctrines that may be popular with the world. Challenge us when we are silent on controversial issues and when our silence condones the destruction and rejection of goodness, truth, and life. Stir up within the councils of the church a passion for the gospel and the building of God's kingdom. Rid them of any ecclesiastical ghetto mentality which would threaten to overwhelm the proclamation of your love. Guide them in the deep waters of social and political action so that they hold tight to spiritual truth and reject any seemingly expedient solutions which are alien to the teaching of Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. Now let's sing again, Light of the World.